Welcome back beer drinkers to a world slash YouTube first. Watson's Brewery, eight grain American stout. Now, I've been looking forward to reviewing this all weekend, well for quite a while. Uh, I've been down visiting my brother and my sister-in-law's had a new baby, been down there for the weekend. My wife picked this up for me on Saturday morning and I've been waiting all weekend to review it. So here we are, back in the man cave, Sunday afternoon, it's about 5 p.m. give or take. Uh, so yeah, Watson's 8 grain American stout, bottle conditioned, uh, not very much blurb, so I won't need my glasses, I'm not going to pick up too much because it is bottle conditions. Um, let's have a look, what have we got, what have we got, what have we got? Uh, ingredients, water malt, hops, yeast, bottle conditioned, unfiltered, unfined, drink, chilled, best before 31st of 12th, 2017. Now, I'm quite happy about this particular beer. First of all, I can't find it on untapped which means no one else has reviewed it yet on Untapped. And secondly, I can't find it anywhere on YouTube. So, to my knowledge, like I just pointed out, this is a world slash YouTube first. So I've got no idea what it's gonna taste like. Uh, as you know, I like my stouts and porters very muchly indeed. Uh, so, bit of history, um, until 2011, there were no breweries, excuse me, breweries in Colchester, registered in Colchester. 2011, the Colchester Brewery opened up. They're not actually in Colchester, on the outskirts, a little place called Wakes Cone, um, and they do one of my very favorite beers, uh, a beer called Brazilian, which I have a bottle of here for your delectation at some other point. Uh, then in 2016, late 2016, this brewery opened up, Watson's Brewery. Now this is in Colchester, in a little park called Old Heath. I don't know the guy's name, I apologise. What I do know is, it's a one-man army. Tiny little outfit, I've been brew brewing beer for years, as far as I'm aware. Um, registered with uh, HMRC to be a licensed brewer, so he could then sell his fine wares to the public. Uh, I've not had one of his beers yet. I know he's been to a few local beer festivals, um, but I've not had a chance to try any. So. Um, this is first for one of his beers for me, and a first for YouTube. So, without further ado, we'll crack it open. It's 5.4% ABV, as it says on the bottle, eight grains, so I assume it's brewed with eight grains. So we'll crack it open, get it into a glass, and see what we think. Little craft beer glass here that I uh, liberated from a little pub in Bath. So let's try not to disturb the sediment. Again, like I always say, I don't like um, huge head on my beer, so I'll pour that off the side of the glass. And I don't want to disturb the sediment, so. That's about a lot, little bit in the bottom there. I might chuck that in the end. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Yeah, it's not, um, like some stouts and porters there, like treacle, this has got a slight ruby haze to it, slightly ruby coloured. Um, so it's, you know you can just about see through it. You guys probably can't because you've got no backlight, but uh, I assure you, you can see through it. Nice little bit of carbonation, nothing too much on the side of the glass. Looks, in my opinion, what beer should look like, nice and dark. Let's give it a sniff. Oh, wow. Now it smells, unlike, excuse me, unlike most porters and stouts, it smells very hoppy. Very hoppy indeed. Can't smell any coffee, any chocolate. Just, if you were doing a blind smell test, you would think that was a a light uh, IPA, I say light, strong IPA, or a, a summer ale. Very, very, very hoppy. Anyway, I can't wait, let's dive in, see what we think, cheers. Oh, man, that is, I've said it before for one or two beers, that is nectar, absolutely, delicious multi multi on the front um i wouldn't say very bitter there's no ibu scale on this beer so um i couldn't tell you how bitter it is but 
slight, slight bitter aftertaste. Um, sits in the mouth a little bit, but quite clean. Like I say, cut some uh, stouts and porters can be um, quite, I'd say oily, but um, um, thicker than than lighter beers. But that, again, like the, the uh, milk stout I had the other day, the Guinness milk stout, quite crisp, quite a crisp um, mouthfeel for a, for a, a stout. Um, tell you what, That is up there with some of the very best stouts I've had. I did the um, Imperial uh, Russian Stout, Russian Imperial Stout, a few weeks back, which was really nice, 10%. Um, that's better. Um, again, it's not like for like, but the uh, the uh, Milk Stout, the Guinness Milk Stout, I tried uh, last week. That's better. That is um, for a, for a small a small brewery. And I believe a one-man army, correct me if I'm wrong, if anyone knows better, I believe he's out there on his own in a tiny outfit in his back garden. Um, that is better. It's only 5.4%, but you do get a nice, you can't smell the alcohol or taste it so much, but it does give you a nice a warm alcohol feeling, like a, like a nice whiskey, a nice kind of warming, oh, it's delicious. Now my wife picked up three bottles of this for me. Um, I've chilled them in the fridge for a little while. I don't normally drink my beers uh, chilled, but it does say um, serve chilled, so I've chilled them down a little bit. Now my understanding is, after looking at the website, this is the last brew um, with the old kit in the Watson Brewery. The guy is now upgraded and he's expanding. Still, I believe, uh, from his own premises at home, um, but he's got some new brewing vessels, some new uh, beer kegs, etc, etc. My understanding is this is the very last brew from that old stuff. So I'm going to keep hold of a bottle or two. Might even go and buy some more from uh, shopping town. Incidentally, I get this uh, or got this from a little shop called Two Brews. I think I plugged them before on one of my earlier videos when I was just starting out. But let's give them another shout out. A little shop called Two Brews in Colchester Town, Crab Street, I believe. Um, sells beer, coffee and cigars. What more could you ask for? Lovely guy works in there. I apologise, I don't know the guy's name. Um, very helpful, very friendly, knows a lot about beer. Um, and they've got all sorts of craft ales, all sorts of real ales, local breweries, breweries from across the pond. Um, all niche kind of, you know, and a few mainstream bits and bobs as well. Um, can't rate the place highly enough, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, so Watson's Brewery, local brewery, one of only two in Colchester. And I believe, quite proudly, I think I'm the first person to officially review this eight grain American stout. Um, and I have to say, sir, you should be proud. That is absolutely delicious. So, like I said before, untapped, uh, I couldn't find it. I found the brewery, Watson's Brewery, but couldn't find this particular beer. So again, I apologize. I don't know if this is the first time he's brewed this particular beer. Um, it could be why it's not on untapped. However, I had the privilege of being the first person to put it on untapped and the privilege of being the first person to review it on YouTube. Um, now again, I'm slightly biased because as you know, I like my stouts and porters, so I tend to give them slightly higher marks than IPAs, like you know, light ales, that sort of thing. Um, I would be so bold as to say I'd give that a four and a half out of five. That is, that is up there with the best mainstream stouts that I've had. That is absolutely, because it's more on the porter side, in my opinion, than, say, Guinness for argument's sake, it's a stout. It's, it's, oh, it's absolutely delicious. It really is. I'm not just, you know, blowing smoke up your, your what's name, um, brewer, but this is, get yourself down to two brews and buy a couple of bottles. You will absolutely love it. I think I'm going to finish that. And crack another one open. Oh, delicious. If you have been, thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers. Oh, magic. Magic.